Greetings to you, dear thinkers and explorers. Welcome to a journey that will take us deep beneath the veneer of our everyday experiences into the subterranean realms of philosophy. Picture, if you will, a gateway, not to another world, but to the arteries of our own, where the heartbeat of the earth pulses with wisdom yet untapped. We stand upon the threshold of this underground labyrinth, ready to delve into the depths of philosophical exploration. Far from the light, we seek the gleam of knowledge hidden beneath the surface. What happens when we see the world not just as a home, but as a vast living organism, a repository of wisdom waiting to be discovered? What secrets do the very veins of the earth hold for us, and what new perspectives might we gain by venturing into the depths below? The earth, as we know it, is more than just a physical entity. It is a complex system, a network of interconnected systems, each dependent on the other for survival. These intricate networks are akin to the philosophical thoughts that weave together to form a comprehensive worldview. Just as the earth's veins carry life-sustaining nutrients, so too does the philosophical underpinning of our existence carry vital truths about who we are and our place in the universe. The Earth's veins are far more than simple pathways for the movement of matter. They symbolize the interconnectedness of all life, the delicate balance that maintains the vitality of our planet. Here in the darkness beneath the surface, we find a mirror of our own human condition. Our actions, our thoughts, our very beings are inextricably linked to the world around us. We are in essence a part of the Earth's veins, and the Earth is a part of us. There is a fundamental truth that permeates the very bedrock of our existence, a truth that is as relevant today as it was to the ancient philosophers who first gazed at the stars in wonder. It is the idea that we are not separate from the world around us, but an integral part of it. This realization brings with it a profound sense of responsibility, for our actions have repercussions that echo through the very veins of the earth. Throughout history, Philosophers from various cultures and epics have echoed this sentiment. From the ancient Greek concept of Gaia, the Earth as a living entity, to the Eastern philosophies that speak of the interconnectedness of all things, the ideas are remarkably similar. The Earth is not merely a stage upon which we act, but a living, breathing organism, of which we are a part. In the modern era, this philosophy is more relevant than ever. As we grapple with the realities of climate change and environmental degradation, the veins of the Earth serve as a stark reminder of our responsibility. The health of our planet, the balance of its systems, and our own survival are inextricably linked. The Earth does not exist for us. We exist as a part of it. Yet there are contrasting views. Some argue that the Earth is a resource to be exploited for our benefit an idea rooted in anthropocentrism. Others contend that we are merely temporary residents, with no obligation to the world that sustains us. These viewpoints reflect a philosophical divide, a chasm that needs bridging if we are to ensure the survival of our species and the health of our planet. The relevance of this discussion cannot be overstated. In a world increasingly marked by environmental crises, the philosophy of our relationship with the Earth is not just an academic exercise. It is a necessary exploration if we are to change our trajectory and ensure a sustainable future. As we delve deeper into the veins of the Earth, we are faced with the stark reality of our interconnectedness and our responsibility towards our planet. We emerge from the depths with a renewed understanding of our place in the world. The veins of the Earth pulsing with life serve as a reminder that we are not separate entities, but part of a larger whole. As we venture into the light, we carry with us this powerful realization. We are all veins in the heart of the Earth. To you, the thinkers and explorers who have journeyed with us, we extend our deepest gratitude. Your curiosity and engagement breathe life into these explorations, lending them a richness that transcends the printed word. As we part ways, we leave you with a few thoughts to ponder. What if we saw ourselves not as separate entities, but as part of the Earth's intricate network of life? How would this shift in perspective influence our actions towards our planet? And finally, 
What can we do, as individuals and as a collective, to honor and preserve the earth that sustains us? Until our paths cross again in the realm of philosophical exploration, remember that each step you take on this earth leaves an imprint, not just on the soil, but on the very veins of our planet. Carry this thought with you, like a lantern in the dark, guiding your actions and illuminating your path. Our journey through the veins of the earth has come to an end, but the exploration of philosophy is a never-ending voyage. Let's continue to seek wisdom in the depths below and the heights above, always remembering that we are a part of this incredible, living planet.